Submenus. The age-old question of what if your root menu got too bloated and decided on mitosis rather than a diet. Now often we find ourselves bloating out a menu with many options rather than rooting an option and splitting off sub-options. And in this video, I will show you how to do that in Unity. Now, this was a requested video from Matthew, a viewer watching the previous video on scene selection overlays. And to help with continuity with that video, we are going to alter the code from there to show submenus and how they work. Now, you don't need to watch that video to understand this one, but I'll leave a link in the description. So if you haven't watched it, you can check it out after this. So here is the menu that we're interested in altering. And at the moment, when we press it, it opens up another scene from our project view. But what we wanna do, as Matthew pointed out, is change this to enable single or additive loading. And if you don't know, additive loading basically enables you to load a scene alongside another. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create submenus to give those options. So how do we do that? Well, let's jump into the code. And here is the function we're actually interested in, show scene menu. And here is the addition of the menu items. Now, how submenus work is they work on a path system. And all we have to do is change this GUI content to enable these paths. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna comment this out for the time being, and we're gonna paste two options below it for single and additive. And what we'll do is we'll add them as paths straight afterwards. And there we go. Now, we're not going to want to tick all these different menus, so we'll just set these to false, because what we were doing is we were actually using this previously to show that a scene was selected already, i.e. it was already open. Now, we're actually gonna to want to pass this through to our next function, which is the open scene function, to say whether we want to load, single, or additive. And the way you do that is on the open scene option, you have this open scene mode, and this is the single or additive options that you see here. Now, what we'll do is we'll pass through open scene mode here and open scene mode. Copy this, paste it into here, and also make sure we've got it in our other option. Obviously, now we need to put this up here to say that yes, this one will be single, and the next one, will be additive. And that's great. That will, if we save and come back into Unity, that now gives us these submenus of single or additive. And we can press on either one of these and open them up. But now we've lost our functionality of knowing what the current scene is and making sure we don't pick that one again. But the tick really didn't do what I wanted it to do, which was to not pick that one. And there's a much better option. So let's jump into the menu again. What we can do here is we can say, okay, if it's already there, the, the current scene, we don't want to enable you to select that scene again because we're not going to need to. So what we can do is we can say if, and we can pull out the string comparison, which was asking whether the scene was the current scene. And we can say, okay, if that one is the current scene, then we'll do something. Otherwise show these two options. Now, what I want to do is I actually want to add a disabled item here. And this actually enables you to show a, a, a bit of context, show a string, but not actually enable the user to select it. And in our case, it's quite useful in this particular situation. So if we come back into Unity, when we now go to the drop down, you'll see the forest demo alternative, which is this nighttime scene, is actually not enabled we can't select it. Instead, we can only select the scenes elsewhere. So that is submenus. So make sure to like and subscribe. And remember, I'm always watching the comments. So your request might be next.